And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day. It's Monday, the 17th of July, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, with you today. And of course, we are going to lead you around what's happening in this Asian session at this stage. Let's just have a quick flick through the news. Uh, you saw US equities mixed on Friday. The Dow performed after bank earnings kicked things off in earnest with Q2 earnings season. We saw Russell pull back after a significant week to the upside. So it was up around about 5% pulled back. A percent on Friday may have been some profit taken on that. Earnings are likely to dominate the headlines, although there is some important data points throughout the week. US futures are slightly negative in the Asian session and Asian markets generally lower. In this morning's action, ASX is just around about neutral with healthcare stocks outperforming. European futures are pointing to a slightly lower open at this stage and the VIX is still at three year plus lows. US dollar index had a miserable week last week but did bounce off three month lows on Friday. It's mixed in Asia so far depending on the cross that you're looking at. Gold is trading around about that 1960 level. Copper pulled back on Friday after a strong week and is eyeing four dollars and of course oil did very well for most of last week as well but bounced downwards after touching that 200 EMA. We are seeing a little weakness in commodities this morning on the back of Chinese GDP data that we'll talk about in a second. Bitcoin looked as though it was going to breach 31,000 as it did on actually on Thursday but give it all back on Friday. It's pretty neutral today at this stage. So Chinese GDP mixed expectations but was improved from last month. Uh, markets are pretty tepid about that um, material stocks aren't doing particularly well on the back of that and generally commodities are a little weaker u.s manufacturing data is due later this evening as for this week apart from earnings of course which are going to be important we've got uh, uk euros on cpi u.s jobs the weekly highlights uh, for those locally we've got the rba minutes released tomorrow which may be noteworthy and jobs later in the week a couple of charts that caught our eye today oh we are liking the euro canadian dollar if we look at here on the hourly chart you can see it's currently retesting a resistance which has been in place at the back end of friday and also today we saw a weakness in the canadian dollar on the back of that oil price move so we've got a 148.53 level there we could see this up to test 149 in the short term so possibly a 45 pip move to the upside that's probably the currency cross of choice this morning uh, everything else is looking a little bit unsure uh, but we may obviously get some increasing action once the european session opens later on the asx kogan continued to be impressive we talked about this last week it was a chart of the day when it breached this key level at around about 518 just paused a little bit towards the back end of the week but we can see today we are up in excess of five percent moving towards six dollar and subsequently if we breach that where there could be some pause then we could see this move up possibly even to around about seven dollars where this 20 ema sits so 677 would be a reasonable price target to have on this in the medium term trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now